Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Valentine Lister and this is my series on the Minor Arcana for the Suit of Cups. Okay, and today we are gonna go over the Four of Cups um, and we're gonna go into all the fun things about it, like which major arcana cards rule this minor arcana card, which is one of the really hidden parts in the symbolism. I'm gonna go into any other, other hidden symbolism that I think you need to know about, as well as the upright and the reverse meanings. All right, so before I get into this card, I'm just gonna make a quick announcement. I know you guys know how excited I am about um, this free resource that I have for you guys called the Tarot and Astrology Cheat Sheet. It is the bomb if you're looking for a reference guide as far as which tower cards go with which um, zodiac signs, planets, elements, you need to grab this in the description box below underneath the timestamps. All right, guys, so let's get into this video. All right, so the Four of Cups. All right, let's get a little feel for this card. I gave it a nickname. The nickname I gave for this card is I thought I'd be happier when I got what I wanted. All right, let's get into the Major Arcana rulers of this card, which is directly connected to astrology. Okay, so in this card, the Four of Cups is ruled by the moon in Cancer. All right, so basically we have the goddess, right, wearing a zodiac sign costume. So the moon is represented by the high priestess and she is wearing the costume of the chariot, which is the zodiac sign of Cancer. So I explained more in my tarot and astrology video about why this was set up the way it is. So check that out if you wanna know more details. I'll put a link here a card here and then I'll put a link in the related um, videos in the description box below. All right also for my astrology peeps this is the third decan of Cancer. I'm really sorry I think I forgot to mention it um, in my last video uh, when, with the Three of Cups that was the second decan of Cancer and then the Two of Cups is the first decan. Um, that's why it's a good idea to grab that tarot and astrology cheat sheet. I have everything written there. Okay so getting into this uh, hidden symbolism insights um, I like to bring in in the major arcana cards and see how the symbolism shows up in this card. Um, so in this card, like it's not as obvious how these cards tie into this card. You have to really know a lot about um, these two cards, how they play into this. So I'll walk you through. And this seems like it's like the moon cards because the nine of wands was also represented by the moon. You really had to use your imagination. So there's something about the moon. You really have to use your imagination, I'm noticing. Okay, so the number one thing you need to know about astrology, and I, again, I practice, um, I'm studying Hellenistic traditional astrology, is that the moon is right at home in Cancer. Um, that is like the domicile or like the home she rules like she rules that zodiac sign of cancer again really comfortable in it and so right away that's like the first visual clue we actually see is like this comfort this person like sitting just chilling on a field under a tree with their arms crossed um, and his arms cross are crossed just like how the high priestess's arms are crossed um so most people I hear like interpret this card tend to associate like this figure right here with not appreciating what they have. So most people I hear in um, interpreting this card tend to associate this figure here with like not appreciating what they have. But I see this card very differently because if you look at the guy in this card, he is focused on these cups. Like he has this gaze towards this cup. And perhaps like in the nine of wands, he's meditating on the wisdom of the three phases of life associated with the moon's crown, right? And in the moon's crown, this represents like the mother, maiden, and crone phase, right? We have the three different phases. And so we have the three cups. Okay, so just pulling in the similarities here for the chariot, the main thing that I notice, right? is that both in the Four of Cups and in the Chariot, they're both supported by a structure. So the Chariot is supported by this like Chariot. It looks like concrete, it looks pretty strong. And then in the Four of Cups, he's supported by this tree, right? He's sitting on this tree. It's like this supportive structure. So pulling in knowledge about what the moon represents um, in Hellenistic astrology. Um, she represents the body, the environment, as well as fortune. So fortune is the circumstances we find ourselves in 
when we are born into life and that we continue to navigate that as we go through life. Um, And so she represents the balance of polarities and mysteries in life um, because even though on her own, right, the moon is really hidden, it's dark, it's mysterious, right? Um, She has a relationship to the sun representing the soul. And so her image in the sky can represent the waxing and waning of awareness of our soul within our body and the light it holds. So she represents the mystery of life and our journey to uncover it. And she's at home in Cancer because Cancer in the chariot is attuned to his environment and feels its force in his body through emotion and navigates life in the flow of all that ebbs and and changes. Um, So in general, the other thing I notice, right, with the moon and cancer is that in general, um, when I've read charts, I tend to find that those with the moon and cancer are provided for um, generally financially in their environment or with resources and like basically never have to worry about money or being taken care of. That doesn't mean that their environment was always super nurturing. Doesn't mean they always have the greatest parents, although they can, they can have super nurturing parents, but it means that they were born into good fortune. So the circumstances um, were good ones as far as being able to be provided for and never have to worry about Um, how you're going to take care of yourself in life. Now, there are other aspects that may aspect that moon in a chart um, that make life unpleasant. I'm thinking of like Drew Barrymore has Saturn conjunct her moon in Cancer and so had a lot of difficulty in her home environment, but also ended up making like a ton of money, right, as a child actress and even into the modern day, um, you know, has never really had to worry about like being able to work or have money or get a job. She's kind of like born into that but she also has Saturn conjunct the moon so a lot of like really painful um, difficult experiences there as well Um, so let's get back to the four of cups so this guy has everything he needs and he can see it he closes his hands like to the next cup because he really wonders right should I take any more I have everything I need like do I really need to do I even deserve I like I have what I need let's take care of other people Um, so the four of cups he has concern for others do they have enough what can I give since I'm already taken care of how can I make sure that others are taken care of in their environment Um, and so right moon and cancer can be very nurturing to their environment in that way all right so getting to the colors in the card so there's a lot of compassion already in this card we have the blue big blue sky, which represents compassion um, and how nurtured he is by his environment, at least, you know, by being taken care of materially. And then we have the green, right, also covering um, him through and through, right? He has green on him, green below, signifying healing, growth, fertility, and prosperity. And we also um, have something underneath right the color underneath the red which maybe shows perhaps something foundational to his character um, which he does have like this desire passion vitality and courage underneath all of this very like calm stuff all right so the numerology of the card so this card is associated with the number four which represents foundations the square putting things into structure work action struggle conflict toil law and order Also the four elements and the four seasons. Okay, so the upright meaning of this card. So it may represent a period of contemplation as to the gifts in life you've been given and what to do with your good fortune. Um, A desire to give more or to give back to your environment. Hesitance to receive more generosity because you may feel like you don't deserve it. Um, So I've gotten this card a few times while recording my tarot journal. And so in my own experience, I've definitely been able to give back to my environment emotionally. One of the days my husband was having a tough time and I gave him a supportive and encouraging pep talk. Um, You know, we're all having a tough time these days, right? So Uh, on another day, my older two daughters were fighting and I was able to help them work it out and um, be able to like talk to them in a way to create more compassion for for each other. Um, And so being able to handle the ups and downs of life and support others emotionally too, could be represented in this card. Also, don't forget that this card means good fortune. So on a day um, I got this card, 
um, we saved about $9,600, almost $10,000 by being able to fix our old air conditioner with a cheap part instead of needing the whole thing replaced. Um, we thought we were going to have to replace the whole air conditioning system because it's older and we weren't sure if we could find the part. And the day I got this card, we found the part. It was like, whoa, we just saved $10,000. So definitely don't forget that part. Um, also, I highly recommend like creating a tarot journal. So if you don't know how to do that, I, I did make a video on that. I'll put it a card here and I'll also put it in the description below underneath related videos. Okay, so if the card comes out reversed, it means that this energy is being blocked or avoided. So feeling some sort of delay or hesitation in giving back to your environment emotionally, like not allowing yourself to contemplate and see what you have, not feeling able to pick up on what people need and give, even though you have a desire to do so. So you may, it may feel off. You're like, I know I need to do something or I want to do something or I want to think about this, um, but I can't really connect like with the people in my environment, like something's off where I'm not able right, to give back or manage my environment. So basically feeling like a big disconnect to your environment. Um, it's still good fortune too, like good things may be coming, but it may be delayed or blocked or, but um, even if this card comes out reversed, um, it still means like good fortune and good things, but maybe like there's a disconnect or things not flowing super well in your environment. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video on the Four of Cups. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified for whenever I release my next video. And my next video is going to be on the Five of Cups. Um, also, guys, if this is content that you really enjoy, really learn a lot about, really love, make sure to share it. Also, if you want to catch up on the videos that I've already done, I'm going to leave a playlist for you right here as well as a related video up here that I'll, I think that you will like. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified for whenever I release a new video every single week.